All right, guys, I'm sitting here with Vinay, who's studying in uh, OVGU. <laughs> Uh, Magdeburg, <laughs> Masters in Electrical and Information Technology. So why don't you walk us through your introduction? You know? Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, myself is Vinay Sanaya. I'm basically from Bangalore. So I did my bachelor's from Jain University in Bangalore. Then after I, I have three years of work experience in Cognizant Technology Solutions in uh, Bangalore as well. Then I uh, applied to the university here with my profile being uh, I had uh, almost 82% of aggregate in my bachelor's okay. then I have uh, three years of work experience as well hmm. so then I had uh, given uh, IELTS and I, I had scored seven okay and so uh, with all those uh, things I just applied for the university and I'm currently doing a master's in electrical engineering information technology here you said you're in fourth year yeah, fourth semester. Fourth semester, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like that means like a year and a half back. Yeah. My next question, Vinay, is uh, can you walk us through the process part? Because you said you completed your studies, you worked for three years. Yeah. Before I get to the actual question, do you think that work experience really matters when you apply for such courses? Uh, if it is related to the field that you're working, uh, that you're you will be study? selecting, yeah, yeah it, it actually matters. Okay, all right. How did you apply? And uh, for how many universities? Okay, I actually started with the DAD website. Okay. And I went through the all the universities. I looked for my, my area of interest. I selected the universities, I visited their website. I got to know about the requirements of the universities. Then I started applying. I required a statement of purpose and letter of recommendation from my professors in the university. And uh, as I had work experience, I also had to get a letter of recommendation from one of my senior in the workplace. So uh, along with that, I, I I had actually given GRE exam as well. How I, much? I I got three not three. Just uh, started applying with the university websites, and I just uh, applied with the admission admission links in the university's website. What does internship means to you? Like, do you think is it really important, or it's fine? You keep continue with your part time job on the side. Okay. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, internship actually matters. It's like a gateway for you to get into the companies. Period of time that you work in the company makes you uh, get contact with the people in the inside the company, which also helps you to get into the company as well. So, have you done any internship? No, I'm not as a. You friend. haven't. Yeah. So you're in your third semester. That means once you complete this, you will yeah. be on your thesis part. Yeah. And when is that going to start? In uh, I'm winter. I'm planning to start uh, as soon as possible. Okay. You're planning to start, okay. Yeah. Let me tell you one more thing. Here in Germany, for example, he doesn't want to write his thesis in his practically fourth semester. Yeah. He can still extend that. Yes. As, you know, as a reason that he's doing a research on his topic. Yes. Right? People do that normally. Yeah, because uh, this, uh, we actually I'm into the university, so this uh, <coughs> depends more on the research part. So it, they are okay with that, even if we continue with our studies for a longer time. Okay, when I want to ask you about the job part, like uh, what kind of jobs if you get to apply, okay. what are you going to apply for? What kind of jobs? In electrical engineering, information technology and I'm getting expertised in computer vision. So I'm looking for uh, companies uh, who work on uh, object detection or autonomous driving. Okay. So I usually search for companies through LinkedIn or Zing, which is a local website in Germany. Yeah. And uh, I also look at uh, through some of the job vendors like Stepstone.com and also. So I'm looking with this kind of things. Can you tell me what all the subjects are you studying? So your bachelor's was in electronics and communication. Yeah. And you studying again electrical engineering. Yes. What, what is the subjects like? Is there any common subjects which you already know about or something new? Walk us through that. Uh, in bachelor's, we what we'll be studying is uh, basic of the subjects that we'll be uh, we are studying here in the masters. So some of the uh, uh, subjects are quite similar, but it it is in an advanced way. So in electrical engineering, information technology, in the first semester we have some six subjects uh, which is compulsory module, so we have to complete it. So in the second semester, it, uh, dip, we have uh, different departments like uh, whoever wants to go to the automation side or maybe to the image processing side or to the uh, communication side. So they have separate departments. So we start taking the subjects which is related to the, our area of interest. Correct. 
Okay. So, and uh, then we have some non-technical project in our uh, second or third semester, and uh, we have an integrated project as well. Then comes the master thesis for us. So we can do our non-technical project in the our area of expertise, like yeah. our area of uh, interest, in, and then comes the integrated project, which we in which we have to do the complete implementation except the report writing part, which is then the thesis. So Correct. then, which continues with the thesis. Correct. Um, I think this is the uh, we are at a very important stage. Uh, so, <clears throat> lot of people they don't have a very strong financial background. Yeah. Right, so they choose to work in some mini jobs or part-time jobs. Yes. All right, on the side. Yeah. While they are not able to invest their that time into real internship, where it doesn't pay you much. Yes. My point is, you get a very limited visa, right? Yes. You know that. Yeah. While people are investing that precious time into something else, mm -hmm. is what is what is your point on that? Uh, it is uh, better if we try to put the time in uh, into the in the university itself because uh, people I have seen many people who work uh, part-time jobs they uh, they actually neglect their studies as well though they concentrate more on the part-time job so it is better if we concentrate more on the studies and we complete it as soon as possible and get into the real job which actually pays for us correct otherwise unless you have a plan while you're studying uh, you know while you're extending your semester, if you don't have a solid plan, why are you wasting that time? So you better complete the study and yes. get out of that, right? Yes. All right, Vinay, thanks a lot for sharing yeah. such a vital information. I'm sure on the other side, a person who's watching uh, would have taken something away from this video. And uh, if you guys have any questions regarding um, electrical engineering subjects, uh, how to apply and all that, reach out to me on Instagram or to my team. It's in the description. All right, then. Bye-bye.